you gotta like that those chronic numbers are really consistent that's like match grade consistency and i'm really happy with how that's grouping at 25 yards i keep dropping the first two shots right in the same hole over and over again so i think you top off you go out for your hunt and you're gonna get two shots right on top of each other which if you do your job you're not gonna need that second shot anyway <laughs> this is awesome hey thanks for tuning in to twang and bang once again the air gun world has given me a product that blows my mind and it's not this air gun it's this arrow it's called the air bolt it's by air venturi and it is designed to turn any 50 caliber air gun with at least a 28 inch barrel into an arrow gun. Air Gun Depot sent me a bunch of them along with this Dragon Claw to try it out. And as you saw, I'm getting about 450 feet per second for a 430 grain projectile. That makes this pretty much the, the most powerful way to sling arrows that you can get from a factory combination. It's only natural to wonder, well, is this a gimmick? Well, that's what you're gonna find out next on Twang and Bang. The Air Venturi Air Bolt is a 50 caliber arrow. It's designed to turn any 50 caliber air gun with at least a 28 inch barrel into an arrow gun, and that could be a rifle barrel or a smoothbore. I'm using the Air Venturi Dragon Claw, <laughs> which is a crazy powerful 50 caliber air rifle. It does have a rifle barrel, which they find in parts spin onto the arrow because it has a gas check in the back instead of a knock with a set of O-rings. And this not only slides in the barrel, but the rifling grooves will catch on the polymer of the gas check and on the o-ring and it will also catch on the veins themselves and as it travels down the barrel it will spin the shaft itself is a very ordinary arrow shaft but it ends at a bushing and this is what centers the air bolt on the front of an air rifle right in the muzzle any conventional arrowhead can go on the front, including this Ramcat broadhead. It's the only broadhead that I'm aware of that can actually fly at the speeds that the Dragon Claw can push this. And I'm getting about 450 feet per second at the full power setting. And I'm getting about five shots at that before I start to see the velocity drop off. Loading an air bolt is not intuitive, and there is a right way to do it. For the first part of this though, I'm going to show you some arrow conditioning I suggest you do when you shoot targets. You don't need to do this when you're out in the field hunting because it's not going to make a difference in your accuracy, it's not going to make a difference in your downrange performance, but it will increase the likelihood you get your arrow out of your target, especially if you're shooting foam targets like the Reinhardt blocks I like to use for speed bows. It's also going to help protect the veins because they will wear out. They're not designed to go flying down a barrel, especially one with rifling at 450 feet per second. You're going to want to get yourself a silicon rod and gun cloth and some silicon oil. You can get this from Air Gun Depot and because you're going to want to have quite a good coating of this silicon oil on the front part of the arrow and on the silver bushing. And that's going to make it so that you can get it out of the target. You also want to get a good coat on the veins. It helps reduce the friction. You are going to have to revein your air bolt after using it uh, for a bit, but this will increase the number of shots you're going to get out of it before you have to do that. And as long as I'm at the back of the arrow, I'm going to look at the gas check. Now, this might be called a knock, but it doesn't knock on anything. It really is just a gas check. It's a, a polymer that will chafe because it does engage the rifling. And I like to clean off the shavings, check the O-ring, make sure it's not nicked, and also clean off any of the shavings from the veins that will actually build up on the front of it. And once I do that, this is ready to load and fire into a target. Before loading the air bolt, you do want to make sure your air gun is safe, and that's going to vary based upon what air gun you're using. For the Dragon Claw, I'm going to make sure that the cocking lever is all the way forward. That means the hammer is down. I'm going to make sure that the cross bolt safety is in a safe position. 
I'm gonna open the chamber cover. I'm gonna look in the chamber, feel in the chamber, make sure there isn't any bullet in place. And I'm gonna leave it open because that's gonna give it kind of an escape valve in case anything goes wrong while I'm loading the air bolt. One last bit of advice for best accuracy, you should index your arrows. If you don't know what that is or you don't wanna take the time to do that, at least load your arrows the same way every time. I'm just gonna take the graphic and put that at 12 o'clock. I'm gonna seat the gas check and that's gonna get me right to the veins touching the, the crown of the muzzle. Because it's a right hand twist barrel, I want to give the veins a left hand twist, squeeze them down and you're gonna to have to feed it in until you get the veins past the crown and then you should be able to easily just push the arrow all the way down until the bushing meets the crown. You wanna let the rifling twist the arrow as you push it on down. Again, the whole time keep your hand out from in front of it. You're not gonna be able to unload this very easily if you just grab onto the, onto the field point. But if you unscrew the field point, partially that'll give you something to grab onto and then you could just pull the arrow out in case you want to unload without firing if you're using a broadhead be sure to use a broadhead wrench to load and to unload you might need to undo the broadhead all together and thread on a field point and unload just the way i showed you a lot of air guns have variable power regulators the dragon claw has a two position regulator a low power setting and a high power setting. You've already seen I'm getting about 450 feet per second and really good groupings from the high power setting. Now I wanna see what happens when we put it on the low power setting. It's just the first click you get to. <laughs> Definitely quieter and a higher tone. And 399, wow. That's actually faster than I was expecting. Okay, I've shot this one arrow about 45 times now and the veins have finally cut through. They're not attached from one end to the other. They're actually attached just in the front we're probably gonna get a good chronograph number from this. I just wanna see what we get down at the target end. That's actually pretty good <laughs> for the veins being in a condition that they are. I'm impressed with that. I originally wanted to see if the Dragon Claw could punch the air bolt through the shoulder blade of a cow, but it turns out the days of real butcher shops are behind us. I couldn't get one in time for this video. Instead, I got a soup bone. It's actually part of a leg bone from a cow. And I figure if this could punch through that, it could punch through a shoulder blade. It could punch through the leg bone of just about any North American wild game animal. I'm using a Ramcat. Interestingly enough, the ferrule on this Ramcat has already punched its way all the way through a Dodge Durango, from one side, through that door, out the other door. All I did was change blades. These are very, very tough broadheads. If anything could make it through this bone, this broadhead can. <laughs> oh my gosh. Let's go take a look at that. That's crazy. I was aiming for the fattest part of the bone and I hit it and broke big chunks of bone off. It went through, <laughs> I'm, it's all greasy from the marrow actually, and uh, buried itself into the target. I can't wait to pull the broadhead out and see what it looks like. And we're gonna take this bone off here and get a closer look too. Look at that bone, that's crazy. I hit the fattest part of the bone. There are, there are chunks of bone all over the place. My dog's gonna love this. I'm gonna give him this whole bone when I'm done. That's yummy, yummy marrow in there for him. The, the bone did deflect the arrow. I hit about like this and it deflected off to the side, but it still buried itself about that far into the target. And look at that Ramcat. The tip is fine. I'd be able to change the blades out and hunt with this again, no problem. I got some deformation of the edge there and this blade is curled, so I definitely would have to change out the blades, but 
my gosh, this has been through two car doors and through a bone. And look at that. I love Ramcats. They are very, very tough broadheads that fly really well at very, very fast speeds. That's awesome. You can shoot air bolts out of not only rifle barrels, but also smooth bores as long as they're 50 caliber and at least 28 inches long. But the first thing you wanna do is clean the barrels of all lead deposits. That lead inside the barrel is gonna impact the gas seal and it's gonna wear out the gas check and the veins a lot more quickly. Which leads me to answering the question I know a lot of my viewers are gonna have. Should you get the air bolt or should you get something like the Benjamin Pioneer air bow? Well, if you already have a 50 caliber air gun with at least a 28 inch long barrel, the answer is really simple. All you have to do is buy this box and you've got an arrow gun and that's really, really cool. And I think that's gonna be a big part of the market for the air bolt. And this is just the beginning for the air bolt line. There will be other calibers available very soon. I don't know which calibers are gonna come out first, but I think you're gonna see a lot of these sold to people who already have air guns. If you don't already have an air gun that'll shoot an air bolt, but you want something that's versatile, one that shoots both lead slugs and arrows, well then something like the Dragon Claw is going to be a natural choice. Though you do need to consider the cleaning issues as well as the arrow wear issues that I mentioned. If you just want to shoot arrows and you want to shoot a lot, well that's where the Benjamin Pioneer Airbow would be a great choice because the arrow slides over the barrel, you're never going to have to clean it, you're only going to have to replace veins if you shoot them off, and it's, it's also an arrow rifle that I really like. If you want to learn more about the Air Bolt from Air Venturi, be sure to read my full written review. I have it linked in the video description below, or you can see it at my website at twangandbang.net. Be sure to follow me on Facebook and Instagram. You can see my, the links to them right here. And be sure to click right here to subscribe to see my next videos on bows, guns, and other cool stuff. I really appreciate you watching Twang and Bang, and I hope to see you next time.